Okay, so today's gonna be about uh, basically the application to uh, download videos from YouTube. There's a few different ways of downloading videos from YouTube, like uh, I believe one's a uh, mobile media converter is another one way, and uh, Clip Grab is another way. You can do it through a terminal with YouTube download. Uh, there's a few different ways, or plugins through Firefox or, or Google Chrome or whatever. But I found this really cool application that was mentioned on Tech HD uh, today or yesterday, and it was actually uh, cross-platform. And I didn't realize it until today. So me, uh, it's called Video. Here it is, Video Fusion, Video Backup Fusion. I'm sorry. And it's really easy to use. So like, you can either type the username, which would be like my name or or uh, the channel's name. So let's try me. Here I am. All right, hit enter, and there's all of my videos, right? You can just double click on one and grab one, or you can just basically, you know, control A and download them all if you wanted to. Or if you just want to look for like a, you know, an individual kind of a thing, right? Just one particular video. Here's one of a KE30. That's my car, I guess. So let's try uh, double click that and now it's going to start to download. It's two megabytes. And I believe it goes into your video folder or your home folder. All right. And there it is. Little Toyota. <laughs> anyway, so it's a cool little program. I like it a lot. You know, um, I just barely got it going about an hour ago. So, you know, you can grab all your music videos or, or whatever. You know what I mean? So, uh, anyways, I'll put a link in the description to the dev file. I couldn't find a 64-bit one. It's just for 32-bit for right now. It's cross-platform for Windows, Mac, Linux. Um, if it's, uh, I think this, yeah, this 1.1, 1.4. If you want the newer one, I believe you have to compile it. Um, if not, I'll, I'll keep looking, I'll keep my eye on it. I'll try to compile it right now, later on today, I mean, because, uh, this is a 32-bit system I'm running right now. The only 64-bit system I have right now is on my, on my laptop, so. And I believe you're going to need the newest or latest, uh, QT libraries for it or something, so. Anyways, uh, I'll put a link in the description and, uh, give it a try. It's really easy to use. And uh, that's it for now. See you guys later.